pop this. So you'll see my stat spread in a second. It looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> in a bad way. So now we got to get everything to 12. Then we'll get everything to 13. Like it's literally just across the fucking board here. 14, 13, 13, 12, 15, 15, 15, 12, 12. So right now my weapon is scaling off this 12 stat. But once everything's 15, then we'll be in kind of this golden area where uh, it's scaling off everything technically but the crummy thing is once they're all up like once they're all at 15 to make my weapon scale any higher I have to get everything to 16 and then it'll start scaling it at 16 and so on and so forth but hey it makes my broken straight sword deal damage so gotta be worth something right what are you yeah not not amazing but it makes the weapon somewhat usable I guess we're going to the servants quarters we are blazing through this game pretty fast I'm actually kind of amazed My shield does more. Maybe. The shield's really slow, though. Another sexy thing about the broken straight sword build. It's not like it's actually unironically good. Oh, we should get a ring of life protection. Those are really easy to get in this, and they're incredibly OP. But the broken straight sword build is so good is... The reason it's so good is that you can uh, stagger enemies, because you just, like, have such low... Stam consumption. And it's pretty consistent at staggering. So you can swing for a long time with this weapon. The range is absolute... Absolute stink. But... It's interesting. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Gower's Ring of Protection. Prevents backstab and reduces damage taken from behind. Yeah, that, I don't know, that felt worse than a Gibby. I'm not sure even a Gibby is that bad. <laughs> Just walk through the door and fucking kill myself. But yeah, Mundane makes a lot of really crappy weapons usable. Like, I think the ladle, the common viable ladle build was mundane I think but yeah you'll see like I can stagger this guy every time I don't know what it is it's just broken straight swords pretty good at it I should have made the sexy scream human effigy yeah I don't know why our textures are really bugged out like our character is not supposed to, he's supposed to have some kind of skin texture. He just kind of doesn't. And it's weird cause we're on console. You'd think like, it's not like I custom in, install and did something fucked up. Hold on. Damn, where are the floating pieces? Remember, oh, those barrels would always leave floating chunks in the air? Made of liquid plastic. Hmm. Hello, guys. Wait for that to clear itself up. There we go. What's up here? 
There's so many things in vanilla that I don't remember. Did you play vanilla Dark Souls 2? Not Scholar. Gibber. What the fuck? I guess these guys break out. I don't, I don't think they do that in Scholar. I think they're in there, but I don't think they break out on their own. Owned. We'll go up to Strayed. Light the bonfire up there. Oh my god, no! Oh shit. I forgot he's stone. How am I alive? How am I alive? It's okay, we do have a fragrant branch. We can... Do I want to use it here though? I mean, there's a bonfire like right up ahead. I don't know that we actually need to free Strayed. He's not going to do anything for me. He serves no purpose, therefore he doesn't deserve to live. Nice. Life gem. Life gem. Eight life gems. Holy fuck. Nice shot, boys. Good try. Get fucked. Gonna sip here just to make sure we're at full. Bonfire right at the top of this will be okay. Let's refill. This is the weirdest fucking bonfire in the game and I fucking hate. We're gonna miss the gargoyles. I hate that there's enemies this close to the bonfire. It's so fucking weird. Like, do any of the other Souls games have a bonfire like that? <laughs> Where there's just enemies in aggro range? I remember uh, my first playthrough of this game. This game has a... Uh, where if you kill enemies enough, they despawn forever. I Those guys annoyed me so much that I just went out of my way to respawn them over and over just to get rid of them. make s'mores they're just the smartest enemies they're like this guy's gonna spawn here so let's just camp it I literally forgot that this enemy existed until just now are these guys in scholar where are they in scholar because I know they put a flexile sentry in the water in Scholar. Oh, we're about to get fucked. Well, the gate's open, so. That's all we really need to happen. Shit, we lived. At least for now. Oh my god, they're still coming. Okay. They gave up. We're fine. Fuck, we don't have the key. I think the key, is it in one of those rooms? I don't remember where the key is. I guess we're just gonna fucking go in and pray that we don't get destroyed in this fight. It's been a long time since I fought this boss uh, in the dark. Done it a couple times. Not the end of the world if we die, we'll just... Look for the key next time, I guess. I don't know. I was kind of worried about getting that gate open. So that was m kind of my top priority. Oh, look at this damage. We don't even need an intact sword. Am I inspiring you, Gibby? To do a broken straight sword build? I'm surprised the damage is as good as it is. Kind of hard to hug the nuts when uh, she flies up in the air like that. Nice. Let's get our stand back. He stanced up. A 
And look at this awesome damage. Oh yeah, this isn't too bad. Fuck. Well, that's pretty bad. Oh my god. The hitbox is crazy on that thing. I want a drink, but I don't think you're going to let me. Okay. There we go. Look at that little stam use. Easy, dude. This build's OP as fuck. Alright, get me in. 49,000? Holy shit. We're gonna be such high level. Kind of. Another fragrant branch. I love on vanilla, this room is just like an empty... Like, there's really no purpose for this room to be so big, but... I guess, in Scholar, they made it work because, uh... They made the Aldia pop up every so often. He's pretty big. Except when he's not. I think there's... I think there's one or two bonfires where he can be really small. For some reason. Magic stone. All right, let's pop this soul. It frames. How much does that give us when we crack it? 25k. Hold on, let me see if she sells anything good now. Now that we've beaten a major boss. No. no you bastard. I guess we could buy the uh, ascetic to get the chunk that's in the basement beneath the ballistas. Upgrade the more useful stuff first. Oh my god. We're almost at 15. We're getting ever ever more powerful time goes on 203 give me this slowly buying those how much was her aesthetic was it like 10,000 hold on Cause it'll get me a chunk. 7,500. Pretty pricey. We didn't have a shard, do we? No. Where else do we have to go? I guess... Iron Keep. Like, what are my options right now? I don't even think where the other bosses are. My brain is broken. Forest of the Fallen Giants. Oh, we didn't go um, unpetrify that one gal. Over here. Game is really not that linear, actually. We could... We could have gone, like, many different directions. Could have done the Iron Keep. Could have done the boss we just did. We could go this way. I don't know, man. Game's not as linear as everyone says, I think. A lot of people compare the uh, map of this game to a tree. Where you have, like branches you can kind of choose which I kind of agree with that alright girl fuck out my way I'm busy nice oh shit okay come on you fucking gross sack guys my stam, no! 
Okay. Nice. Pretty epic. Me in. Me rest. Cannot use. I wonder why. Is there a chunk in one of these rooms? Hold on. All right. Get out of my way. Uh, hello. Nothing. What about here? All right. What do we got? Soul of Proud Knight, Human Effigy. I thought there was something really good in one of these rooms. Like an Estus Shard or a Chunk or something. What do we got here? Ah, there's the Estus Shard. I'm not sure if that one's there in Scholar. There's so many different item placements that I'm just not... I'm not sure about what's where. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I was thinking about doing power stance to broken straight swords, but it didn't really... It didn't really add much. In fact, I think in some ways it slowed down my swings. That's fine, we'll... Just rock the one. That's all a guy needs sometimes. Yeah, is it up on this left ledge? Is that what the... I read on the wiki where one was, and I didn't quite understand. Yeah, that's a fading soul. I should have known that. Classic. Classic fading soul. Yeah, was it this? Hold on. Be kind to me, Mr. Sackman. That's a Ferrous Lockstone. It's still pretty good, but not quite what I'm looking for. Excuse me, lads. Fuck. That hurt. My run took like 20 years to start. Alright, nice. Very nice. Yeah, there's so many ways to go. We could go this way. Which we will. Holy shit. It's so blurry. I, like added a blur filter onto the screen really quick. Ow. Alright, let's see what we can see here. I think that ring up there is, oh my god, pretty good. Let's go take a look-see. Come on. Am I about to get stabbed? We're actually safe. Yeah, Chlorinthy plus one. Pretty neat. God, I can't see shit. I really don't mind this area, actually. I think it's quite interesting. I'm about to die. Well, that is the old sun ring. Not very useful for us. What's this? Ow. Clear blue stone. Also not useful. Right? Doesn't that just increase magic damage? Alright, get me out. Get me out. There we go. Oh my god. I got stuck on the stairs. Or I guess ramp? I don't think it necessarily was stairs. Let's put that ring on. Florenthy. Oh, shortened spell casting time. I guess we could have had the Royal Soldiers ring on the whole time. 
Are you all comfied up, Gibby? I just love the face of that emote. It's so fucking cute. My dog loves to just climb under blankets and shit. I forgot about this. That's not there in Scholar, I don't think, right? <laughs> forgot about the big guy. Oh, we're going to bust her tails off pretty easily, I think, which is not necessarily a good thing. Her tail attacks make her very vulnerable, so we might have to be careful not to break them both off. We'll see what happens, though. Epic. Fuck you. Ooh, our damage is falling off a little bit here. But we get so many strikes before we're out of stamina. Ow. Our poise is also like kind of spicy. I thought she was doing a different attack. That's the one I thought she was about to do. <laughs> Oh my god, you bitch. Am I dead? Nope. Hmm. Alright, here we go. We got so greedy. Wow, the lingering hitbox. Crazy. Good try, good try. Even better. I love it. God, the frame rate in this room is so fucking bad. The frame rate in this game is so fucking bad. Halfway there. Oh, well, that can happen, I guess. I jumped the gun on uh, trying to get my damage in. We also haven't found any sublime bone dust. Can you do something more exploitable, please? No. That's not exploitable. Stop. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Easy peasy. Oh, we staggered. We staggered. Wish it was just a sit down like in the future games. You just chill while she, uh, Plays in the sand. Alright, let's not get stomped. Perfect. Yeah, we'll even tank the last hit. No fucking fear. Alright, do we have elephants in this hallway? I don't remember. Maybe not. I guess not. I thought for sure there was an elephant just stuck in that hallway. The doors of Pharos. Alright, let's get this bonfire. Or we do something silly. Lit. Damn, I'm wondering if we should do another stream of this. I was kind of just going to do a one-off, but maybe we could actually finish the game with the broken straight sword. 
I don't know, man. Mundane enchantment seems pretty decent. Or infusion. All right. Pop this. Oh yeah, we also got an Estus flask shard we can use. Yeah, no bone dust. Where the fuck's my bone dust at? Is this, however, There's no way this is how the original game ran, right? It's because I'm glitched. Gotta be because I'm glitched. I refuse to believe. Oh, we're so close. <clears throat> I think ideally we want to get 20 in every stat. But right now the goal is just to get everything even. Irm's Respite. 